Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a little haul here for you guys. Um, I actually don't... Sorry, Ace is on there. <laughs> the camera's shaking. He hit the tripod. I don't actually know how many items I have yet. I will count, though. So I'll probably share my cost per goods in the end. But I did spend... So I got 27 pounds, and I spent $45.29. So we're just going to get right into it. Um, first off, we've got a new with tags. Let's see. Mito Shop and retail price is $42.50. Um, and yeah, I got it because it was new with tags. And then it's just got keywords that I can use like boho chic, fairy, cottage core, maybe. Um, then we've got this Land's End. Yep, Land's End uh, Puffer Vest. So puffer jackets, I know, is a thing. Um, I'm not sure about puffer vests. But this one does also have down, 80% down and 20% feathers. So that definitely gives it um, some value. Um, this is also new with tags. Size 2X bike shorts. And it's just the brand Excursion. Um, it, am I saying that right? Surgeon? Excursion? Um, so retail is $54, um, but it's also like padded, um, cause it's for riding the bike. So I thought these could probably do pretty decent. And then we have, and I might get interrupted here. I have J Crew Italian Cashmere. This is 100% cashmere. Um, it's so soft. It is a size large, but it doesn't look like it. So... I'm assuming it was shrunk, but I can adjust, I can do uh, measurements, oh, and I, huh? The truck. Truck? Yeah. Go get it. But I need that truck. You can't find it? Yeah. It was on the counter. No? On the table. So I feel like this is more, at this point, a small, but, so we'll see how that does. And then this is Banana Republic Italian Marina Yarn by I don't know what that is and it's a size large but I got it because it's got the Italian merino yarn so we'll see um, just plain basic it's like a rusty red rusty 100% merino wool Jack has it? No. the truck you just got you're looking for? yeah it was on the table buddy Okay, so next up we have another cashmere sweater. This one's actually an extra small, so it does look right on point. So the brand is Brody. I've never heard of that brand, so. I'm always um, intrigued to find new brands, but this is the, there's some buttons on the sleeve. And like a camo type of pattern. This is a scarf. No, I don't really want to unfold it, but it, why did I get, oh yeah, because the brand, um, so I don't know the brand of, uh, just look at it. <laughs> Read it. I don't know. I'm not going to say that. 55% pash, pashmia. I, pashmina. I've never ever heard of that. I don't know. And 45% silk. So I thought this could be maybe a good find. I don't know. Um, we'll go find it in a little bit. J. Crew Merino wool sweater. So there's that. It's got the elbow pads. I don't know if that adds value at, at, by any means, but yeah. And then I just got this David's Bridal dress. I wasn't, it's yeah, David's Bridal. And I just thought if I look up the style, oh, it's a wrap one. Not down so not down downstairs? Yeah. Oh, go get it then. Um, It's a wrap dress and I think it's like one, the way the sleeve is, it's, I don't understand it. Um, But it's yeah, I just thought I'd look it up, see how this would do. I don't know. I don't usually get bridesmaids dresses like that, but I thought I'd try it. We just went to the store and he got a little truck and we, it was literally at, right on the counter, but he just remembered he left it downstairs. Um, this is Torrid, so this was probably a pretty, this was a lot of the weight because this is pretty heavy. So it is a coat. I think it's, I think when I looked it up, it's like military. Um, Someone was trying to sell it for five bucks. Um, but yeah, it's Torrid 
we're coming into, you know, colder weather. So I thought maybe that could do well. So I'm excited to see. And then what's this? Why is this in this bag? Oh, this is Athleta. Just an Athleta workout top. And then a cutout back. So this was a bag of stuff I did not wash. So I must have just accidentally left the Athleta piece in there. Because I try to wash what I can. But if it's like certain materials and stuff, I really don't like to wash it. Or like, like is that, I don't know if the coat was wool or not. So this I did wash, even though it does have wool. I try not to wash wool. Just I just like to be delicate with it. And like no, the person that buys it can kind of do what they want with it. Mama will help you look after this, okay? So this is Express. But I feel like cardigans are a good pickup sometimes. Um, and I think it's got characters like, you know, Chunky Knit. Um, yeah, so. Like, got that. I don't know where it is, buddy. Okay, so this is J. Crew 100% cashmere. Oh my gosh, this one is really soft. It is a blue. Just a plain basic, but having cashmere, I thought it'd be good. Okay. Hey, stop it, please. And then we got some more torrid denim. I haven't yet listed the other torrid stuff, so I'm curious to see how torrid denim does. Um, this I got the, I don't know, we'll see how it does, but it's Ann Taylor's, just some green, what was it, um, the high-rise skinny jean. They look black, I think, but they're green. Oh, yeah, you can see they're green. No, that's not for dad. Okay, and then this is Free People Intimately. Um, I was like, oh, I found some free people. Um, but just like a lace... Um, what, what is that? Is that like a, it's not really a dress or is it lingerie type of thing? Not lingerie, but like maybe a sleeping dress, but it's got like paisley print. I don't know. So I thought that was cute. And then we have some, oh, cut from the cloth. And this is the tag. So I don't know if that's like a newer tag or what, but I've never seen that tag. Um, not that I know much about the brand, but that tag does look new. So here they are. Just some skinny jeans, I believe. I don't know. I think so. Um, we've got some more torrid denim. Some camo pants. And I don't know if these are capris or pants. Oh, someone called me. I'm, but I'm going to try to finish this haul. Okay, then we have cotton on which I think I had a pair of, of shorts that sat for so long and then I ended up selling them super cheap so I probably not like a super good pickup but I know this brand used to be a good one and it's a bigger size um so I'll try to get that listed here with it being summer yet um let's see and then we have some more torrid I don't know I seem to find a lot of torrid if you guys haven't noticed um, and this is super lightweight, so I got this, um, just a basic shirt, and then the back, it's just got the cute little thing. What's up? Um, this is, I don't know if it's, I got it braced on brand or style. Yeah, probably more style, because it's express. Um, so it's a red lace. This, and honestly, with like the pattern, sorry for the dog, with the pattern, like this, I feel like you could say fairy, um, bohemian, bohemian, I don't know, I'll have to look more at like styles here. Um, this is... I do not see a brand tag, and I feel like I just got it based on style, so I feel like this could be, like, this could be fairy grunge, this could be, f um, whimsigoth, witchy, it's a lacy dress, so, the, based on style, uh, I don't know if, if it even has a tag at all, to be honest. 
And I don't, I, yeah, I don't even, so I don't even know the size. See, why would I get something that, I don't know, I'll have to dig more into that. I don't, as for size, to me it looks like it could be a medium or a large. Well, whatever, we'll figure it out. Um, and then this is Lacoste, which I looked it up and some Lacoste is good and some not so well. I've used to find this brand every now and again. Um, I think I got it actually in a thread up box or something. That's how I discovered it. But it's just a button down long sleeve. So I thought I would try that one out. I did get another Lacoste. Yeah, right here. Um, so this is just a polo. And the polos look like they do well. Um, I'll have to see though. So there's that. And then we've just got these Maurice's linen pants, some brown linen pants. Um, there was, there's also a belt that goes on them that just came off that I'll have to fix. This is strapless and it's Japna. Where's the tag? Right here. So the brand is Japna, size extra small jumps. Is this a dress or jumps? Yeah, jumpsuit. Um, I used to like this brand selling it and I haven't really had it in a while. So I'm just curious to see how it does. And it's got like a super flared... I feel like this could be like hippie, um, paisley print, boho chic, bohemian. Um, yeah, especially with like the flared pant legs for the, like the hippie. Um, this is also torrid. So this is like a military jacket, black denim. Um, here's the side. And then this side has like some jewels or some detailing going on on the sleeve here so curious to see how that does and then this is loft so I got this based on style just because um loft isn't really the best selling brand but here it is um so I felt like this could be Maybe cottage core, but I feel like cottage core is more lighter colors. So maybe like a grunge or a fairy grunge. Um, Whimsigoth. I, I, I don't know if this actually would be Whimsigoth. Uh, maybe witchy. No, maybe not even that. But yeah, I for sure like a fairy goth. Or what did I say? Fairy goth? Yeah. Yeah, fairy goth. Like black. Boho chic. Bohemian. Because it's got like that look, but it's black. So... That's Moms, it's a game. Um, this is Liverpool, and I have heard of this brand, but I think I've heard good things about Liverpool, like jeans and stuff from them. Um, but yeah, so I found this, I was like, oh, that brand, I've heard that, and I think it's a good brand. So it's like a chambray top. The back has some button details on the bottom. I just thought that was cute. What's the material? It's It feels kind of cool. It's a size medium. Lyocell, that's what it is. So yeah, I'm curious to see that one for sure. Um, and then we have, I don't know where all these pink strings are coming from. I don't even have anything pink in here. Uh, cloth and Stone, which used to always be like a good Does selling brand. I? This is all like wrinkly, but Does another chambray top. Yeah, we don't need that right now. Um, this is Mito Shop, which I don't actually, I was like looking at it. Yeah, it's a cropped button down, boxy, oversized um, shirt. It's a size large. Um, so I don't think this will sell for, I don't think this will sell for a ton, but it's worth a shot. Okay. Okay. So this is a brand as you wish. So I didn't really get it based on brand, more or less, um, style like the floral, um, maxi dress. Um, feel like I could pull out some keywords for this dress as well. Oh, that's where the frills are coming from. From this, because I have these little pink things are all over. Mama, the place. there, up there. Okay, buddy. So no. this is actually Victoria's Secret. And it is extra small, so I'm pretty sure this is just a cover-up. Oh, you know what just I see happen? 
Um, so this ties back here, but I see this pink side. It completely lost all the things. So I'll just sell it as is and just reduce the price, I guess. Okay. Wow, lots of distractions. Sorry, guys. I only have three more items, though. So this is staccato. And I just got it because it's a sweater. We're coming into fall. And I thought this could be like a grandpa sweater, granny core um, keywords for that and see how that does. Um, this is Altered State. Um, how are we? I think it goes like this. Well, no, because the... How does this go? Oh, like this. Um, so here it is. And like the, the knit detailing, I don't know. Um, and then this is the back. I just thought the back was super cute. So we'll see about that. And then last but not least, we have some Venus. I've, I realize I find a lot of Venus as well as Torrid. Two of my, I think those are the brands I find the most of, to be honest. I mean, other little brands that I don't pick up, like obviously like Maurice's, you can find Maurice's everywhere, but just this uh, printed dress, so. It's like more of like a halter style top. Yeah. You want some crab? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and count every... Oh, you know what though? Like, Mom. the strings Mom. on it are like kind of looking a little, Mom. little itchy, but I will disclose that in the listing. Mom. So let me go count everything and I will Mom. figure out my cost of goods in a second. Okay, so I ended up with 36 items, and like I said in the beginning, I spent $45.29. So that means my cost of goods was $1.27 per item, or no, $1.26 per item. So yeah, um, I've got to go tend to Blaine now. He wants someone in, okay, so somebody in a different haul of mine, Blaine was like acting up a little bit, and they commented, they're like, in this LOL, something about your kid, like, about how... This, this is why they didn't have kids and they're happy with their decision. That's that not, that's not exactly what they said, but that's the what they were saying. And I'm like, I would much rather deal with the chaos and all that than to not have kids in my life. Like, I couldn't imagine not having a child, which teach your own. But I just like, I always feel like comments like that. It's like, what is, are you like commenting that because you're trying to make yourself feel better about the fact that you don't have kids and maybe you do want kids like because it's like why do you feel the need to have to um make those comments you know like yeah he was being a little bit on um, you know he was tired he needed a nap and it's just like comments like that always make me roll my eyes because I, I don't really care what you say about me but you know he's a four-year-old boy like get over yourself so anyways that little rant um, I was just disappointed with that comment, whoever the per I don't know who the person was. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!